Hey guys, today it's about blending modes, using the blending modes the right way. So let's dive in. I'm having the photograph open here with the two solid color adjustment layer. One is complete white, one is complete black and let's see how they react with different kind of blend modes. So for this adjustment layer, you know where to go and how to choose a color of it. You can even see how the colors react to the blend modes. But beforehand, have a great clear look of how the basic neutrals, the blacks and the whites blends together. Here it's on normal. This is the blending options we have in the layer panel. And that was normal. This is dissolve. They both are kind of uh, same type. This is now the darken. This actually makes the things go dark. As it's in black, so we do not get these effects because it's pure and pure black. If I change it towards a little gray or if I go towards dark, you can see it's it's just darkening up it's going too dark too brighter for that too too darker so even if with the dark grays it's not working good enough so let me take some sort of but if you want such a dark effect like this then I have just lowered the opacity from the panel, layer panel, and then it's showing up the image. But generally, this option is not good for editing any photograph. You can get another looks with a different color. So I'm just switching the solid color layer by double clicking on this color thumbnail. And now going towards a nicer black like this, nicer grays. So still I don't want the 100 opacity. I will set opacity which is 60. So it's good enough. So you can see how multiply is making the effect. That was before, this is after. And it's just multiplying the blacks with the original colors if I switch it to the color bond it's again darkening up it's making the color bond as it says it is making the colors go multiplied and multiplied much more than it's not a subtle effect now change it to the linear bond as it said it's linear it's do not affect the major areas but it affects the highlight parts it can or it might burnt out your highlights too much with the color multiplying to it which means it adding color to your highlights and making it burnt and here is the darken this is not exactly burning but with the darken color it's multiplying a flat effect of black or you can say here it is gray so it's multiplying a gray effect all over the photograph it's basically affecting the midtones the highest showing up like this now go to lighten as it says it light up the color it lighten it up it is you can see it's much brighter than the before size so here you can see lighten and see screen screen is much more brightening the effect it's like igniting a lighting and color dodge is again it's hampering your highlights it's it's making the highlight and whites of your photograph too much bright which sometimes end up in hampering your colors and now it's light and color so you can see it's it's also a nice effect you can anytime control how much effect you want to see on your photograph by the opacity slider here like this 
I think again 60 is quite good. Again selecting this layer, I am going to select overlay. You can see it's adding a nice shadows to the photograph. And with the soft light, as it says, it lighten up these it add gray tones to the lighting to the highlights so that it's the contrast is much less but in vivid light it makes your photograph vivid it increases the saturation according to the color that we have chosen and with the linear it's just as same but a quite bitter difference with the pin light you can see it's not a general way the hard mix is too much hard for this photograph because it's just posterizing kind of effect with the colors with the black blacks whites it's everything is too much hard now switch it to the difference you can see this is not too harsh effect but it's generally making the lighter adding a gray tone to the mid tones you can see how the skin is now preserved nicely and it's looking very good but in exclusion you can see it's it's again a blunt effect subtract is just subtracting your lights from the like decreasing the contrast divide is adding it hue saturation color and luminosity basically hue saturation and color add the color of your photo of your layer that you have chosen and it just make a take out everything else and make that color visible with the luminosity so in the luminosity it's adding the grays luminosity to it so this was all for the darker colors what if i add a white or a light color like that and see how it works so you can see if I am in darken with the black and I am in darken with the whites. What's the difference? That white is still white. So it's adding according to that. So basically blend modes work according which color or which texture you are working with. The results might differ each and every time and you have to toggle around and see which color goes better because it's white so the lighting up or the subtracting or the soft light and the screens it's all too much for it so white doesn't generally react to that colors to that blending modes and you can see again we are on overlays and that where it adds the color to your highlight part and so you can anytime use the opacity to get what kind of look you want to and also here is the hard light and soft light vivid light but being it's white it's generally do not react or react in a similar way than the before very slight effect like her mouth here it's affecting it's very slightly so these all are the effects that how white reacts in difference as the difference of the white and the color is gray you can see in exclusion it's a kind of embossed effect and it, the subtract it is subtracting away the whites from the complete area with the divide it's adding it's making it lighten up and again because it's white it add the white color to the hue saturation color and with luminosity it increases it's it brings the luminosity in much higher way so let's see how the color react let's say red i choose the red you can see and most used blend modes are like color you can see how the effect is going popping up your colors and giving it a fresh look soft light overlay these all are the kind of blend modes that most generally 
we use with the photography edits because they are very nice and subtle effects to the photographs that we want to turn to. Blend mode multiply generally work quite in a natural and very effective way with some of the dark colors. So each time if you go for a darker color you can use that darken to darken colors blend modes. This is all for today. With this I am at the end of today's video and if you like this content find it helpful do comment below and share it with your friends. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss the next video.